So an interesting question that often comes up is whether or not marijuana stocks are recession proof. Now, marijuana stocks fall into the same category as sin stocks, and sin stocks are tobacco, alcohol, and gambling stocks. Now, these stocks tend to do fairly badly in recessions because whenever people have less money, people tend to give up tobacco, alcohol, and gambling first. So that tends to be a priority in terms of stuff that you would give up. And if you look at some of the stocks, some tobacco, alcohol, and gambling stocks, they tend to, they did pretty badly in the last recession, which was the 2008 housing crisis. Uh, they fell fairly significantly. Uh, the, the casino stocks, the gambling stocks, did, did the worst because whenever people don't have a lot of money to spend, they're obviously not going to go out and gamble it because they don't want to lose it. So if you're in the casino business and a recession is happening, then you're in a very bad scenario. It's not, it's not good to be in the casino business whenever a recession is happening. So using that logic, you would assume that marijuana stocks would also do badly in a recession. Now that would be true, however the marijuana market is not currently fully developed, so different logic applies. Now here's the thing, so the marijuana market currently, or the Canadian marijuana market at least, all the companies that are currently in Canada, the Canadian marijuana stocks, they're worth, they're worth about $5 billion, roughly, give or take a little bit. Uh, the full Canadian market, once it develops, let's say two, two and a half years, two to three years roughly. Uh, let's say let's give it a value of about 12 billion dollars now this is including medical this is including scraps of other markets as well because uh, the companies that are cur that are currently in canada not all of them are going to they're not going to get all of their revenue just from canada they're going to get some of the revenue from germany some of the revenue is going to come from the united states so let's say that these companies are all you know, and that included let's say 12 billion dollar current market available within about three years two or three years so if a recession were to come into place, let's say that half of the value gets wiped out. Half of the market that could, that would potentially be there gets wiped out because half of the people that would be buying marijuana no longer can because they don't have enough money to do so. So it's no longer on their list of priorities and that is something that they would be willing to cut. So half of this market would then disappear. If that happens, if that is the case, and this is the market that is available to those companies, these companies can still grow a little bit. And these estimates are fairly generous. I don't think that a recession would wipe out half of this market because you also have the medical market, and the medical market would not be wiped out as easily because, uh, you know, there are people, medicine it tends to be last on the priority list of stuff that you don't want to spend money on. So, even if this happened, you would still have a $6 billion market. And with a $6 billion market, these companies would not fall at, at the very minimum. They could still grow a little bit. They would not fall. They would meet their current estimations, evaluations. They would get enough revenue to meet their current evaluations, and then maybe a little bit more. So if anything, you would not lose any money by holding marijuana stocks right now. Now, let's say that 10 years from now, if all of a sudden the market is filled, the market is saturated, let's say 10 years from now, the market is filled, these companies already have their customers and everything, everything is going fine and dandy. 10 years from now though, it would not be the same way because 10, 10 years from now, these companies would be worth about $12 billion, similar to the market. Well, all of a sudden, if the market gets cut by half, then these companies all of a sudden are bringing in less revenue, they're not making as much money, and then they would crash. But now, if you were to invest into them right now, I don't think they would crash because there would still be enough of a market even if, even if a recession would happen. So hopefully that helps. Uh, if it does, leave a like and check out my channel. I'll be uploading some more in the future.